What if the most important technology company in your life is one you've never heard of? NVIDIA's biggest AI bet isn't its chips. It's a quiet investment almost no one talks about. $14 billion. That's not a startup bet. That's not an experiment. That's a signal. In 2026, ByteDance, the company behind TikTok and Douyin, plans to pour $14 billion into NVIDIA AI chips. Quietly. Strategically. At a time when AI computing is becoming the world's scarcest resource. So the real question isn't why NVIDIA. The real question is, what does ByteDance see coming? That makes this bet unavoidable. AI doesn't run on ideas. It runs on compute. And compute is no longer cheap. It's no longer abundant. And it's definitely not neutral. Across the world, AI demand is exploding, not just for chatbots, but for short-form video recommendation engines, cloud platforms, large language models, real-time personalization at massive scale. ByteDance sits at the center of all of this. TikTok, Douyin, Volcano Engine, multiple internal AI models. Every swipe, every video, every recommendation burns computing power. Let's be clear, ByteDance is not just a social media company anymore. It's an AI recommendation company, a cloud infrastructure provider, a large model trainer, and increasingly, a semiconductor buyer. Its internal computing needs have climbed sharply across its entire ecosystem. That's why in 2025, it already spent around 85 billion yuan on AI chips. But 2026, that number jumps to 100 billion yuan, roughly 14 billion dollars. And most of that budget is pointed at NVIDIA. Here's the irony. ByteDance is actively developing its own chips. It has a chip design unit, around 1,000 engineers, and a processor already taped out, with performance close to NVIDIA's H20 at a lower cost. So, why still spend billions on NVIDIA? Because honestly, time matters more than cost. NVIDIA chips work now. They scale now. They support ecosystems that ByteDance already relies on. In AI, waiting is losing. There's another layer here, geopolitics. ByteDance's plan depends on one big if. If NVIDIA is allowed to sell its H200 GPUs in China. That alone tells you just how tense this market has become. China doesn't want dependency. The US doesn't want leakage. Companies like ByteDance are stuck in the middle. So what do they do? Well, they hedge. Buy NVIDIA where possible. Build in-house for the future. Invest in memory. Take stakes in startups. This isn't indecision. This is survival strategy. Another quiet move most people missed. ByteDance is investing in high bandwidth memory. Because in AI, GPUs alone aren't enough. Memory bottlenecks kill performance. Supply constraints kill scale. So ByteDance is building control over compute, memory, and long-term cost structure. That's not what a content company does. That's what an AI infrastructure player does. Let's play this forward. If ByteDance secures NVIDIA supply, its AI models scale faster, its recommendation systems get stronger, its cloud unit becomes more competitive. If its in-house chips mature, margins improve, dependency drops, leverage increases. Either way, ByteDance becomes less visible, but more powerful. And if restrictions tighten, then this $14 billion plan becomes even more important. Because companies that prepare early survive shortages later. This isn't about chips. It's about who controls intelligence at scale. So here's the uncomfortable truth. While markets argue about AI hype, the biggest players are locking down compute. ByteDance isn't chasing headlines. It's buying time, power, and optionality. And that might be the smartest move of this AI era. The question is, who's next?